Hi everyone, welcome to this new community show. Thank you so very much for joining the show today. It's the new patch and we have plenty of things to discuss. Today, my co-host is once again Annoying Lama. So we are going to have a very passionate discussion. Let's get started. <music> Hello, hello, Annoying Lama. I'm so happy to have you back on the show. This is really, really great. So I hope you're doing well. How are you? I have been great. Um, working hard, been pretty busy with uh, life and just kind of getting things together, but also playing a lot of Ember. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of fun with that. Oh, that's so great. So guys, in case you do not know Annoying Lama, Annoying Lama is probably the most enthusiastic Ember Surgery streamer is a true ray of sunshine. So you have to follow him. I really, really, really suggest you to follow him because he's just bringing so much joy that it's uh, almost um, healing to watch his streams. So he's streaming Ember Surgery and some other things. But can you introduce yourself maybe? Oh, hi. Well, hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, it's your boy, Noi Llama. We're ready to have some fun. I am a Twitch streamer, uh, twitch.tv slash Noi Llama. I uh, stream Embers Adrift, World of Warcraft, and a lot of other stuff like that. And kind of really what I can get my hands on, but I try to stick to those games. But yeah, no, I, I have a lot of fun on these streams and stuff like that, and just just getting stuff done. So yeah, no, that's kind of really all to really say with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Now I have an, another little clip because that's the tradition. And when you're returning to the show, you're going to have another clip. And so I've been digging some new clip for you. So let's 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 check them out. Ooh, I want to see this one. <laughs> I'm glad that we're killing the Doom Spiders ahead of time, just so just so we can get that out of the way. There we go. There we go. So now we can focus on the raccoon. And these enemies are blue and uh, white to me, so that's good. That's good. I was always like so confused. I was like, I know, I was just soloing this shit earlier. So this this is the part. This is the part you should solo. It's right, literally next to the camp. It's this forest right here. You can find some Ashborn. I've already got thanks to Genra. Uh, he, we helped farming this out with me just this morning with this level fifty. I got the Ashborn, uh, the helm, the chest piece, and also the uh, also the uh, the wrist. I heard there's like there's some pants too that I still need to find too. It's also going to drop recipes that's going to help you create a lot of end tier game loot. And so you, and so that, that goes for provision, for its potions. It's going to give you potions, tools. It's going to give you loot and stuff like that. And each tier has different loot sets. And then also at tier four and five, I forgot to mention this earlier, they're going to have oh, tier class. sets. So like they're going to have like straight up set gear. Like they're, of course, not going to have like if you get four pieces, you get this bonus types like tier sets, but just like it's going to have like, you know, similar looking sets and it's going to be really heavily designed, looking nice. Like, like, like these are like, this is end game looking sets. I want them to have, I want there to be end game looking sets in this game where if you look at a motherfucker at level 50 and you see he has that, that sword that looks like it's glowing for some reason with some ember on it or something like that. Yeah. That's how, you know, that shit is like, that's some end gear fucking sets. And what it will also do is add replayability to it. And also, so like when the first boss comes out, everyone's going to try to fight. Everybody who's like in a guild, who has level 50s, are going to try to fight this boss. But over time, all the only the high tier guilds will try to game. Um, only the high tier uh, guilds are definitely going to be farming out tier 5 and stuff like that. So that was a little clip of what you're doing. Um, we can see that you have so, some, some uh, solo play where you really... Um, how can I say, educating the viewers, and then you have all those brilliant IGs that you're sharing with everyone. <laughs> so that one was actually interesting that you found that one, because like that, so that was, the second clip was me talking about a world boss idea. And also for those, yeah, I do swear a lot. So be careful when you come in my streams. Um, but yeah, no, uh, but I was, 
I was talking about a world boss ideas and stuff like that, and you know, uh, you guys, you guys have to. I, I will, I will be happy to share with those who have not seen it. Not now on this community stream, but in future streams, I would love to just kind of just like, sit down and just kind of really talk about like, you know, just brainstorming ideas because I feel like that's. I noticed that in the Discord too for Empress of Drift, like a lot of people have so many like, cool ideas and stuff like that, and it's. I do want to try to like like really capture that like that just hey not just like oh playing the game and stuff like that but really just kind of brainstorm with people and you know just talk about really cool ideas and stuff so i'm glad you found that clip that's a really good one thank you uh, of course <laughs> you should absolutely if you have the time and the occasion come on a discord mm -hmm. meeting one day so you could directly share all those ideas with Adric, which is the one creating the bosses so i mean if you have someone Ooh. to talk to it should be Adric, right I, I guess I didn't, I keep forgetting that they, they have meetings and stuff like that for this. <laughs> yeah, so for everyone else, I will take the chance to do a little promotion for the meeting. If you two you want to discuss about bosses and other <laughs> related topic, you join the meeting every Wednesday evening or night, depending where is your time zone. You will find all the information mm -hmm. on Discord in the event section. So it's every week we're gathering the community and Adric is joining and he spent um, like one hour to speak with you about all kind of subjects. So if you have question or feedback or anything, as long as uh, the, the meeting stay positive, uh, kind and respectful and polite and people don't talk on, on top of each other, then it's all fine and we can discuss about whatever. Dude, that's that's awesome yeah see that that's i need to start hey, guys i need you guys gotta join me on this you know gotta join because i'm gonna start heading these meetings now uh now that there are those actually meetings and stuff too i should probably keep that on schedule but yeah no i'm definitely excited yeah you guys gotta join me on that all right oh uh, that's so cool <laughs> that's so nice so today we have something quite exciting to discuss about because it's the patch day so that's great it's hey. once a month so today what we have in the patch is uh, one new Embervane solo loop, some correction and some extra um, task. And of course we have the preparation to the free trial, which, and I'm calling to my bad news guys, it is not tonight. Okay, it's not tonight. I'm so sorry, but the the reason is a good reason. We didn't want to release a free trial the patch day. You never know with a patch if something broke. It's not the best day to have a free trial. So we want to have a few day before that. So when is the free trial? Ooh, That's the question. A lot of people. The free trial? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me when is the free trial. So what do you think? Um. Okay, this is gonna be a little selfish. I'm gonna be selfish. With it. My birthday is March first. So <gasps> I will say March first. Oh well, I propose you to discover that with the trailer. Let's get to it.
So here it is. It is for your birthday. Bro, it, wait, it, so it is March 1st? Yes, it is March 1st. Oh, yeah. Bro, okay. Is it okay if I could break down a little bit of that trailer? Because I thought I saw some stuff on there that I have never seen before. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, one. When it comes to ranged combat, wait, so there's no, like, range cap on that anymore? Or did I just see something wrong with that? No, I don't think there's anything changed. Here's just my, my character um, with oh. a short bow. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm, sorry, it just, I'm sorry, it threw me off for a I was like, hold on there. But also, wait, hold up, you guys were adding... I did not... Okay, I thought I saw something on that. But, like, you're adding, like, you know, like, colored titles and stuff like that for items. That's... Okay, yes. that's important. That's big. That's freaking huge. Okay. Okay. I was gonna go deeper down, but let's continue with that. I know you probably have something set up with that. I'm so sorry. That was just, like really exciting. I had to mute myself for the reaction. Oh no, that's so cool. Well, <laughs> yes, we do. No, so the, the the big things for this month is of course the free trial that required a lot of uh, back end work and a lot of preparation. So we're not releasing it today, but it is ready today. It's just that. We want it to be uh, open Friday because Friday and the anniversary of Annoying Lama make much more sense than in the middle of the week on a Tuesday night, right? So the mm -hmm. free trial will be open at noon Central American time, the 1st of March, and I will have an event that uh, Friday evening or the evening for me but afternoon for america at 1 p.m central america uh we streamed in we are going to stream together and answer all questions and all kind of things to start up uh, the festivities of the free trial so as a reminder the free trial is not a free weekend event it's a forever free trial without restriction in time and without restriction in level whoever you have restriction in space so the free trial is limited to new heaven valley and new heaven city so you have access to the city so that's pretty important but we will read all the details uh, there is quite some limitation that are normal for a free trial we want to avoid gold seller and bad intention person you know but mm -hmm. we will we will read about this then, of course, you have the itemization categorization, which we have been um, talking in depth uh, last week with uh, Zig, that was the co-host. Um, so that's uh, exactly the, the color change for every item, which hopefully will make it easier to recognize when an item is interesting, when it's not interesting, etc. And um, and then we have some new content, which is the solo loop in the Frog EV um, in Meadowland, which is for level 1415. And uh, it has a name, of course, and some cool item that you can hunt by yourself. And then we have, of course, a lot of change polish uh, correction to all the tasks that we had last month and the the new extra exploration task so have you been doing the bulletin board what do you think about it personally and it's funny actually you asked that question because i've been loving the bulletin board and i know that you guys are still adding some more stuff to it but what you guys currently have right now i think it's actually really amazing kind of just for like a basic concept of what it is um because one of the big things as you mentioned the, with the i know that i knew about the free trial but i didn't know, of course didn't know what was coming out but um, new with the free trial, um, I, th I think it would be great for people who come in because it would have a sense of solo ability. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's great when you just want to like, you know, it's great like downtime, you know, if you want to just kind of get some stuff and also great EXP. Um, and just having that like kind of little extra like health buff kind of kicking in. It does, it, I, I feel like the bulletin board adds a lot to just the game as a whole. Um, there's multiple times where, you know, you're about to get into a party and it's like, or you're about to like, just grinding out an area and then someone's like, Hey, what's your, uh, what's your Burlington board? What, what quest do you have? Well, I have to kill spiders. Oh, well I have to kill deer. And it's like, Oh, well, how about we just do that? And, and I guess you guys can knock out a whole bunch of content and it just feels, feels like the flow of the game just feels a little bit better. Uh, ever since the Burlington board has been added in, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't know what anybody else's, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, <laughs> it, it's great. And I think that's. Overall, the the feedback is very positive. 
there is some negative feedback, but they're more like that quest doesn't work or this quest is boring, etc. Which is why we have been asking the feedback from the community and the community has been um, very kind and sharing a lot of very interesting feedback and you, we will be reading the, conne the, the correction in a moment. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I agree too, and that was exactly the goal. That was the purpose. So we are glad that it worked like it intended. And this is just the beginning of the built-in board. And what's also nice with the built-in board is while it is absolutely a solo um, content, something that you can do by yourself, it is also something you can do in a group, like you just described. Or mm -hmm. the spider that you need to kill. Well, sometimes if you're killing uh, three chevron spider it's gone too so if you're doing the wolf cave spider cave in Midoland and you had the spider uh, task uh, on your built-in board you can do it while you're grouping up with other players so it doesn't deter group play at all mm -hmm. but well with the group with also with the bulletin board uh, like one of the I know I think I remember seeing tabs like this or guys talked about this I might be wrong on this by the way might be wrong but um when it comes to it i i you guys probably have ideas of like adding more like uh like different types of things so like things for like crafting and stuff like that like oh you craft this many items and turn it into the bulletin board or um you know just stuff like that or grab this material or something are, are you guys thinking about like adding things like that so it's not just you know things for killing but also things that work within in tandem with crafting or um or just like boss killing, I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas at this point. Yeah, but, uh, so uh, there, there's yeah. there's three different things. You have the adventuring built-in board, which bring you experience for your adventuring level, or, mm -hmm. uh, which content for now just killing task. Um, just this month, we have added a few exploration tasks, not in every zone, but it's the beginning. Uh, and we're yeah. going to continue to add, you know, different things, uh, like you mentioned. Um, it it we it, it require us to create more tech so we have implemented the kill task because that was just you know go kill stuff the tech is already there um yeah. while every other task require a little bit of tech so which is why it's implemented step by step but crafting That's and smart. gathering are separated but they're coming soon and so you you when you will take your built-in boards per zone you will be able to grab one adventuring one uh, gathering and one crafting if you want to do that obviously the gathering and the crafting will bring experience to your gathering and crafting level not the adventuring mm -hmm. so it's kind of separate um they are not coming smart extra soon <laughs> but it, it's coming soon once we have reworked the crafting as well there's different things we want to do so all of that will be done there was a question can you cancel a task now no you can still not cancel a task i know some of you want it um we are not sure yet how we want to manage that or if we want to add it at all that's understandable and i i, I think it, the gathering uh i think gathering sounds like a better idea than the crafting one and i'm glad well, well both are still great um but i feel like gathering is important because like i when it comes to when it comes to your crafting and stuff like that it is a little bit harder depending on which type of gathering profession you have so i think adding that would in, in the bulletin board would be a great way for people to get exp just for like like you said for gathering and stuff like that i, I think it's smart that you guys are already looking into that and, and it's not like it'll give you like strictly exp just for your character but exp, exp for your crafting profession as a whole and i think that's that that will add the smoothing process over that uh side of things too um yeah so yeah that sounds awesome yeah, and we have quite some nice ID for that as well, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's um, start to read the patch note. So we awesome. are going to to see all the details. And let's read the patch note. All right. This month's patch includes the tech required for free trial, a new solo loop, anytime categorization. Additional quality of life improvement include a lock toggle on self-offensive defensive nameplate via context menu, a lock button on chat windows, and numerous improvements to NPC positioning. If your friends who are on the fence about trying our game, March 1st is the perfect time for them to try it out with no monetary commitment. Thank you all for your continued support. 
tech fixed an issue preventing some light and particle um, system from turning off during the day. Continued improvement and toggle to help with the server memory leak cleanup. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome right there. Let's see the NPC tech. A bat, gaunt, raven, drolsk, red mane, pterodile, nocturne, stone coats, blight, mandrakes, mire, and rats can now enter the water. Some have swim animation while others do not. More improvement to come. This should reduce the likelihood of player encountering undone's wrath near water. So, as you know, if you are entering water when you pursue by a mob, because this mob become out of range from you, so it's like you're abusing, therefore you're being targeted by Undone's Wrath, which is an unescapable uh, malediction spell ability damage things, and more you stay out of range, more you take damage, so you're eventually going to die pretty fast. So this mm -hmm. is um, Undone Wrath is something done um, to avoid cheating and abusing the system by, you know, sticking on a rock and and uh, reaching out some creature with your bow while they cannot reach out for you. Um, and uh, same thing with the water and stuff like that. But sometimes it was complicated and sometimes it was not really fair, etc. So now the creature can pursue you in the water, meaning you're not going to have this undone wrath. You're just going to be uh, attacked by the creature. But I promise you, it's better than undone wrath. Yeah. I mean, if them pursuing you in the water as a whole, I, I think it's smart. Just you know, because I I'm not gonna lie, even I've I've kind of used that a little bit in the past when I was like, okay, they can't come into water, I'm safe now. But now they get to come after me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that is good. That is good. Just for like an emergent type, emergent um, uh, what's the word before? Uh, just for like just a scenery kind of thing. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a great change. It's a very great change just to kind of have them actually follow you into the water, and then you don't have to worry about actually, yeah, like you said, being hit, even though they're not even pursuing you. Um in that so good job that's awesome yeah i just think then the stone coat if they um are in deep water they should sink yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh dude hey yeah, the stones i think that'd be pretty fun if they just like sink down <laughs> yeah i think that would be nice so we need to work <laughs> on that it's, we probably don't have the tech but it would be fun immersion that's the word i'm looking for yeah <laughs> Made substantial improvement to NPC movement while in combat. The position and move back position should be far more accurate, which in turn should reduce the ice skating effect along with further reducing any remaining cha-cha-cha. So that's <laughs> nice. Uh, still working on yeah, it. Yeah, that is true. I, I, I think that's good too. Yeah, it's important because it can be very annoying, especially on big creature. Adjusted the pivot point for large creatures such as the bear, raven, drolsk, and ridgeback so that their visual look more natural while rotating. Tweaked turn animation for a number of creatures to look more natural while rotating. Added alternate target point for large bear to make them easier to fight from behind or the sides. Refactored how we scale NPC sizes to be more reliable and consistent. Improved how we assign nameplate position for scale NPCs and offensive target reticles now resize based on your target size. These are huge quality of life changes here. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we always try to improve the game, right? So the game is not perfect. There's always little wonkiness here and there. So we, we try to correct them when we can and when we have the time to do it. So it's always an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. Environment art. Knuckle now use dagger attack animation instead of sword. Adjusted the number of crop LODs. Fixed some props issue in dry food Grizzle Peaks and New Haven City. Fixed the number of stuck spots in dry food Grimstone Canyon, Ember Vein, Forgotten Depth, Grizzle Peak, Red Shore Ridge, and New Haven Valley. Fixed the nav issue in Undercroft, causing some resource to spawn out of reach. Fixed Gaunt Howl animation event not firing off. Added a new death animation for the large bear. Removed moss from dry foot rocks. 
cruise off some undeterralized areas of dry food to allow us to increase creator density in other area and move the zone towards feeling less empty. Most of the spawns from those regions have been relocated to another part of the zone. So I need to speak a little bit about that. Yeah, please do. So, um, when we created the game originally, our zone were very large. And that's great because performance wise, it was working fine. So we were very happy with very large zone for the players to explore. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. what caused performance problem is the quantity of mob you can add in into the zone. So we had a limit in terms of number of mobs. Because the zone were really large and because we had this limit of mobs, the zone felt very empty as well. And a lot of players have been giving that feedback and there was nothing that we could do about it besides reducing the zone in size to make it feel more concentrated. So that work has been done for Middleland, had been done for Ritual Forest post-launch most of the time. It's always heartbreaking because you're removing a part of the zone, a part of the zone that some people enjoyed and the zone is smaller and there is a big area that you don't have access to anymore so that's the case was dry foot so um the northern parts of dry foot which were used for gathering most of the time and where spawned the basilix ember vein has been walled off so some people have been asking why are you not moving uh, uh vantessa things over there and why are you not moving a sheer crook uh, in that area now that the zone is fortunate because that will require to be redoing the wall zone and we don't have the time nor the energy to do that so walling a part of the zone is easier than to revamp the entire zone because that takes months of work. We cannot do that. We cannot afford to do that. You will have to. No more dry food for three months. No one will want this. So the dry food zone has been changed. But do not be too sad, guys, because from something a little bit sad, something else can born. So please keep hope <laughs> and um in any case it was really done for you know uh, changing the the feeling of the zone being super empty with no mob concentration so that yeah, makes sense so there it is so it's a little sad but at the same time it's for the greater good so I think it's kind of nice that you guys are kind of doing that. You, you, you're really taking a step back and just like, hey, you know, we gotta, we, gotta, we do got to fix these things. But I think it's good that though you're taking that away, it's still like something you're going to bring back something even better from that. So it's not like, oh, we're taking it away and like pull a Destiny 2 kind of content thing. But you guys are actually like taking it away because you want to improve it and then actually bring it back even better. So that's smart. Yeah. So get, stay excited, guys. Seriously, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Adjusted smoldering ash animation to better match execution uh, time. Adjusted crafted gold armor color. Updated visual for imbued crossbows and updated visual for various rare crossbow. So crossbow user rejoice. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm starting to get into crossbow gameplay, so that's that's good for me too. Yeah. <laughs> More look for the crossbow. Interface. Added for pixel padding between slot and back bang, etc. Subscriber slots are now indicated by a purple background highlight rather than changing the frame color. And this is because we have the frame color around the item and it could be, you know, a little bit weird. So, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Built and board now have their name shown on the map tooltip. Added a context menu option to lock or unlock self offensive and defensive nameplates. Added a lock button to chat windows. Added a new window resize cursor that more clearly indi indicates a window is locked and cannot be resized. Move the time icon from chat window to the upper right corner. Next sunrise sunset time also displayed the time remaining before those events. Loot roll active highlight, blue background that indicates current roll is now a gradient covering the need green and pass button. Augment confirmation window now use the item confirmation dialogue, similar to destroy. 
added a search filter to merchant window. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? I mean, that's ah, so that's so good. good. That's a good. I was gonna talk about the time of day one too, but that one is that one. I like that one. Having a search filter, so you don't have to constantly scroll down. That would I think, would that also work with recipe merchants too? By the way, ah, uh, yeah, or probably. just regular merchants. Well, I've not tested it myself, but I think so. Yeah, which would be fantastic because that's probably oh. the most annoying one. Yeah, I know because I have to scroll down and try to find yeah. them, and it's like, ah. no, thank you. That's that's a good one. That's a really good one right there. Fix it the bug preventing the bulletin board tutorial from showing up in the tutorial log. Fix it the bug <laughs> preventing the required specialization from showing on a region tooltip when you had no specialization. Added more exception protection in the crafting interface. Added a red overlay to abilities when they cannot be used because you're out of range and or not facing the target. Im yeah, it's it's a good one too, that one. Improved primary secondary weapon slot display on the inventory in interface the background panel now turn red when an incompatible weapon configuration is equipped border of applied effect are now colored blue red to more clearly indicate buff debuff warlord or ability open wound proc effect icon now match the skill icon added mm -hmm. a new slash help global channel which is intended for those in need of help new player trial player or anyone else so this is something that has been requested for a long time we were very cautious into not adding new channel because we don't want to clutter your ch channel possibilities um but with the trial coming especially as the trial will have their channel access restricted we really wanted they can you know communicate communicate with other player so the help channel is there um, you remember that you can always leave a channel if you don't like it, or you can create a separate window with your chats where you are isolating a particular channel or another. So you do have mm -hmm. a little bit access to customize uh, how you see things. And if you want to declutter your main window, you can declutter your win main window without leaving entirely a channel. <laughs> that's awesome that's actually really good and i was wondering about that too because having a having a new player channel would actually be pretty nice like, like i said to ask questions or uh, um you know just it, it was it, so it doesn't get cluttered with you know everyone's you know everyone's trying to get groups and stuff like that having that new player indication it's like oh someone needs help someone needs uh you know someone needs to ask ask questions or something like that and that's huge. Thank you. Thank you for adding that yeah and so for to all of you guys uh please stay in the help channel so you can actually help the new player that wants help because that, mm -hmm. that's nice we'll need a nice and kind soul to answer all of the questions that would be asked mm -hmm. reduce world trade and help slow mode to 10 seconds and disable slow mode from the subscriber channel so if you subscriber you still have the subscriber channel where you can have a discussion with your fellow subscriber the id is not to exclude everyone else and to make an elitist channel no the id is to have a quieter more intimate channel for the people that are subscribing which in general are the long-term and most engaged players that are really the 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 core of the community and uh, who knows the day we will have plenty of players you will be happy to have a quieter channel and no slow mode in there well i'll be using that a lot <laughs> nice <laughs> reduce the adventuring experience required for level one to five so the the leveling process and experience in new heaven valley has been slightly changed so why have we been doing that so uh, players can access uh, faster to new abilities and uh, the you know exciting part which are the Misha quest, no, not the Misha quest, the Misha hunt, the ancient bear quest, the central vein, etc. So trial have access to central vein, by the way. So that's important to note. Increased wild spawn density in dry food, obviously. Moved ember vein, basilics run and trans in dry food. Moved some ember drift and rupture as to not spawn so close to one another in middle land. 
moved Embervain Shrieking Barrow entrance to lower level area so they are more accessible to players of that level in Grimstone Canyon. Ah, thank you, because sometimes that was complicated. See, that's a great change right there. Yeah. Corrected required level on necklace of the High Ranger to match other rewards from the same quest. Corrected name on Hopfly Mask. Corrected name on Dissolved Tin Helm was previously a rare drop polish tin helm. Added basic close hood recipe to New Heaven Vendors. Increase Veil Armor drop rate. Increase Exile Looter rare drop rates. Increase Dagger's knuckle range to 3 meter. Reduce power of Ashen Rat self heal. Ah, that's nice. Reduce level of Nocturne outside of Forgotten Depth. That's nice too. And updated fro Frog Toad's Toxic Shot ability to scale with mob level. Sentinel's Alchemy 2 Resuscitate updated to heal wounds before health. Oh, nice. Okay, now we are going into the task. Reduce the kill count for dry food and retro wild task. Reduce kill count for ashen task. Reduce kill counts for grizzle peak bird task. Reduce kill count for middle and southern river ridgeback <coughs> task. Reduce kill count and added location information to greenstone canyon raccoon task. Additional location, location information added to various tasks. Rigid Myers added to Retro Ember Drift Spawn and Fluted Rains. Grizzle Peak Raven Kill Objective changed to Generic Bird to include Trash. Increased odds of Exile Looters and Scavenger to spawn in Retro. Increased presence of Exile Hunters, Woodsmen and Patrol in Retro. Increased presence of Hungry Wolves in Retro. Increased presence of Snatch Scale Stalkers in Retro. Removed kill wolf task from Northridge due to the difficulty of completing during the day. Redshore task mm. for killing emberflies now include any emberfly type. Task for killing ember drift creatures should now mention ember drift or ember veins. Insect and arachnid now count as animals. Removed redshore task that had identical objectives. Middle and Southern Quillback task have been split into two different tasks. Southern Quillback found in the wild south of the river and Quillback found in the forest plateau region. And spawn from Ant Hill now have the title Swarming to help identify them as not being valid task targets. Island Hills has been split into two separate bulletin boards. One for the North, level 40 plus, and one for the South, level 20, 25. If you had a level 24 task previously, it must now be handed in at the North Bulletin Board. If you had a level 20, 25 task, it must now be turned in at the Southern Bulletin Board. This should address is you with player level 37, 39, getting task much lower than them and added new commission tasks to New Heaven Valley, Northridge and Meadowlands. Those are non-kill objective tasks that will have you to exploring or traveling to specific destination. Similar tasks will continue to be added in the coming months. So burn my biscuits. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's also oh, there was already new billboards up there too. Oh, um, um. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of new stuff and a lot of correction, but thanks to the feedback, without you uh, feedbacking, we would not have been able to do that. So it was really useful to receive uh, your detailed feedback. I don't like this task for this. This is too difficult. It this is unclear, all that kind of things. Because when we created the built-in board, we had to create so many tasks at once that, you know, there were, even we thoroughly tested them it's it's still uh, important to have some feedback. That was smart, and yeah, that, having feedback is important. I need to get better at doing that personally myself. But yeah, no, uh, but no, guys, keep, let's keep up the good work. All right, that that is awesome. That nice. Is awesome. All right, new stuff, free trial tech, starting March the first, yeah. during 
uh, ano yung Lama's birthday reminder. We, <laughs> I, I hope that people will remember it and wish you happy birthday, Lante. That would be nice. Hey, hey, don't wish me happy birthday. Have make it make it a happy free trial day. That's all. <laughs> don't screw my birthday. Make it a happy free trial day, guys. Let's celebrate it all together. Okay, good plan. <laughs> So starting March 1st, we plan to open our free trial. Unlike previous free weekend, this trial will be unlimited in time, but come with some gameplay adjustment. Let's read that. Such as, you can only access New Haven Valley, Central Vein 1, and New Haven City. Can speak in the global slash help channel. Cannot speak in world or trade. Cannot trade with anyone. Cannot send friend requests. They can, whoever, receive friend requests. Cannot participate in guild functionality. This means they cannot start or join a guild. Cannot access the shared bank in New Haven City. And titles will be colored tan. So we we wanted to offer the possibility of player to try out the game. And it, we, we had been very concerned into doing that for security reason and all that kind of things. Even to, I think it will be fine. And I don't think we will be invaded by hundreds of uh, nasty player that just want to troll. We still wanted to be preventive on that. So all of those, um, what can I say, uh, reduction and non-access to our pretty similar to other MMORPG that does have trials and mm -hmm. serve to prevent player of being harassed or uh, any mal mal malvolent intention or it should at least reduce that that makes sense and that that's smart yeah because most of the most of the trial you're just kind of kind of in there to see if you like the game and stuff like that and you don't want anybody just coming in and just making a free account just to make a free account type stuff that's smart yeah exactly and so um you know we we can we can hope that we will only have nice player that just want to try the game but you never know if some people have decided to be silly and to uh, you know to come with a, a large guild and to put the mayhem <laughs> into new heaven valley mm. <laughs> we need to have a solution to protect our actual player base that is actually playing the game and to not have abuse of any sort or limited at that which is why there's only one ch spoken channel they have access to uh, i don't think we will have gold spammer because they will be really uh, mad i think to try to farm gold and to sell it in ambassador i don't think it's profitable at all but you know those kind of things th it, it limit the channel where those kind of conversation can happen and so it will be easier to moderate as well or for the player to mm -hmm. just in your I, I think that's smart. That's smart, and um, and it, like I said, like most of the time at lower levels, you're not really going to be trading too much, and that someone's like, hey, you know, here's a here's an item or something like that. Because sometimes I'll do that. I I'll go to like low players and be like, here, here's some items and stuff like that. But I, but I think it's good that you kind of have that to prevent like someone just, you know, just kind of steamrolling things as a free trial. You know, it's like you're just like I said, you're there to try out the game. You're there to have some fun. So I can see why you're doing all that. That's smart. Kind of have this yeah. security in there to kind of prevent anything crazy from happening and the I, I really like the fact that you cannot send a friend request but you can receive one meaning if if someone is bringing their friend to, to try the game then they can themselves send a friend request and then the, the relationship is created and so you 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 will have this this possibility and you will see your your friend list with your friends so mm -hmm. uh, it just need to be the player that is uh having that dupes possess the game that has a uh, paying account that have to initiate the friendship request but then that can be done at least that makes sense yeah that's smart so guys, I'm not reading your question right now, but I'm going to scroll up after just right now. I, I, I it's written too small. I, I cannot. I will. I will need a spyglass to be able to read your question. <laughs> I, I, I need a third screen, but so please bear with me. <laughs> All right, the new Ember Vein solo loop. A new solo loop has been added in the Middleland Noxious Bog Ember Vein. Frog legs, anyone? Itemization, alignment, and categorization. Well, yeah, it, it didn't need a lot of explanation. So you have two screenshots, okay? And that's, that's fine. But you know how it is a solo loop in an ember vein, and it's the frog one, okay? 
it's the froggies. All right, itemization, alignment, and categorization. One of our major goals this year is to organize and categorize our item in order to better communicate to players how they relate to one another. Have clear indicator as to when a valuable drop show up in the loot window, and to help prevent accidentally selling rare items. We we have been talking about that the past uh, community show. To fully support this categorization, all rare drops and quest rewards in the game have undergone an alignment. Any items susp substantially outside of this new categorization have been designed, design I cannot read today, designated <laughs> as legacy and will continue to have their existing stats. The number of alignment changes are too many to mention in details and the vast majority are extremely minor with no consistent direction and should have the same impact as they did previously. Item have now be categorized in the following category, basic, advanced, superior slash imbued, relic, mythic legendary items that may fall anywhere within the above items power progression are labeled as legacy the unique qualities of those items frequently but not always indicate greater power it is important to emphasize that those categories do not necessarily correlate to the rarity of an item merely to their relative power and that's something very important. The reason why the item names have been chosen that way, it's not to be just different than anyone else and to not have mm -hmm. epics, but it is to, to, to make the difference between what is very rare and what's not. Um, well, no, to, to really underline the fact that it's not the rarity of the item that designed the color of the item, but more its power. And yeah. Which is why that's the name we have chosen. And so last week, the items were called Unique, and now they're called Legacy. Because Legacy uh, transfer more the fact that they are from a time before when we designed the item a little bit differently. It doesn't mean yeah. they are absolutely unique. That's true. And I think, I think on, a, on a grander scale, I think that's great. Because like having the, just having color-coded items and kind of like having them categorized by the power also gives this sense of like pr uh, player progression. So it's like, oh, well, I already, I'm starting to get like with mythic items. Well, I'm starting to get legendary items. I'm starting to get these. And like, it really, it meant, like mentally that, I, that allows a player to really just kind of see, oh, I'm getting stronger. Oh, I, I farmed out this thing. Oh, I'm, this is a really rare loot or this is really cool loot. And it allows people also who are new to the game, including myself, uh, <laughs> Who can chase after something? You know, what I'm saying like not saying like like no gear was actually powerful beforehand. Like if I see a really strong piece of loot in like the trade chat or something like there, or someone talking about the world chat, oh this item dropped, that looks interesting. But now seeing that color code, it's a great just a quick tell. Oh, that's a rare item. Oh, that's an epic item. Oh, that's something I really want to go for. So I, I'm glad that you guys are kind of adding this into the game because I'm already excited just by seeing just like that like some of the pictures. I was like, ooh, that looks like a really cool item and stuff. So. I'm glad you guys are actually implementing that in the game and having the legacy items like, oh yeah, this was an older kind of style and how we design certain things. So I think just personally, that, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the, the legacy item will still drop. So that's a question I managed to read from, from afar. Yeah, they are still dropping. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think for... for <laughs> And I think for new player and trial player, it will be really nice to have that system put in place right away when they start. It will make it, mm -hmm. you know, more easy. When they find a thief blade, that thief blade, I don't know which color the thief blade will have, but it's not going to be basic for sure. So they will be excited to see it. Yes, yes. Holding Alt, while a tooltip is active for one of those items, will show a reminder of the item category power progression near the bottom of the tooltip. Ooh. And another oh, very cool. exciting thing, so I need to do that. Look at this. Look at this guy. New behavior behavioral status VFX. We have unified the look for behavior status effect to better communicate when one is applied. Confusion is pink question mark. Enrage is red exclamation marks. This is white asterisk like marks. Stun is yellow Z's and lull is purple Z's and those effects can be seen in the following GIF. 
So isn't that nice? I think that's really, really great. That's really good. <laughs> that is actually really good because you, sometimes you'd be hit with something and you'd just be like, oh, like, oh, did I, oh, what's this debuff and stuff like that? But these are like quick cut or uh, quick indications uh, when, you know, a status effect is, and sometimes it's even harder when you put an, uh, an enemy to sleep, like during a group fight, you'll put an enemy to sleep, but sometimes even for me personally, I have a huge uh, problem with this where I'll accidentally hit them because because <laughs> I didn't realize they were asleep. So having that quick like indication, it's like, oh, that person's asleep, move away, kind of type stuff. So yeah. that's amazing for group play. Holy crap. Yeah, I think it will be much, much easier. And then you had the confusion and the lul, which kind of were similar. And the days were not specifically extremely clear either. So especially when you were, you know, a group very packed on top of each other, you don't always see all the good the stuff. The, that would be really, really cool. Yeah, I know. that's awesome. Thank you guys for adding that. Holy crap. That's huge. <laughs> Llama's a filthy CC. You see, Marwaz has actually seen that firsthand of me constantly breaking CC. Yeah. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> And while I am reading the question, you can see the, the new Ember Vein. Ooh, that looks very pretty, by the way. I like how you guys have that. Okay, Marwas Gaming is saying, how is this event going to be promoted? So it's not an event. So the, the free trial is going to always be uh, on. So it is going promoted by, you know, the classic stuff, social media things and uh, uh, the community show. Please share it with your friends. Take a clip and publish it on your social media and your forum. We, we are just doing, um, how can I say, like organic type of marketing. We are not doing... Um, paid ads and big marketing campaign and stuff like that uh, because it's too expensive and it doesn't work enough so this is something we have abandoned to do so we are doing other methods that are more um, you know word of mouth and so your participation into promoting anything we are doing is very appreciated the the you need to realize of course we know that it would be nice if we could do big marketing campaign that's what all the other games are doing but that triple a studio with very large budget the marketing budget is very often larger than the game development budget we don't have that money we just don't have those funds so we, we cannot do that we have tried to do it with more modest mean and it didn't work because for marketing it's either you go full in or you don't apparently mm -hmm. because we have tried and we have spent a lot of money that could have been spent otherwise and it didn't really work because none of you saw ads on google or on youtube or very little did so it, it's not working that way so we are doing a more organic word on mass marketing but we're doing things and we are experimenting we will see if it works nicely and so far so good that's good <clears throat> all right but i think that is all for the question so that's nice if you have any other question about the new content the trial um, the itemization or anything else, feel free to drop them in the chat. I will be happy to answer them off. Now, Anuing Lama, what are you the most excited about with this new patch? Um, personally, the new stuff I'm really excited for. One is the billboard stuff. I mean, that's always more content equals the better. Um, but one of the biggest ones is the the categorization of the itemization. Oh, God, I, that sounded so wrong. I don't know why that came... The point is, I'm excited for the item categorization. Um, that's uh, something I'm very excited for. Uh, just kind of just having that extra sense of a power progression is always really important in the game. Um, and you know, show off, you know, kind of what kind of what, what makes this game like. You know, what what items you can get in the game is I feel like is really important for just people just to see and be like, oh yeah, it's it's it, it's it's kind of like um, it, you know, you see someone with really cool gear. But it's also like, oh, let me link link that piece of gear in the chat and just seeing that it's like an epic or like like something like that. 
is is just something exciting like i said something to drive for i i someone could probably explain it 10 times better than how i could but um that's kind of how my thoughts on that i think that's a pretty exciting thing to kind of get into yeah and i think what it will does also it will help the trade maybe um mm -hmm. not entirely and it doesn't mean we're not never going to do a trade system but you know that's another subject another time not right now so um but just to link yeah like you're saying linking your item in trade makes things a little bit more clear you will see oh this guy has plenty of very rare item very interesting and that might also change a little bit the economy because I do believe, and I'm one like that, like I'm the community manager of Ember I have no idea what is worth an item, okay? So, which is why when I'm trading item at the fair trade, by the way, come at the fair trade, it's every Sunday at uh, 1 p.m. Central American time. Just join us, or no, 2 p.m., 2 p.m. American time, okay? Um, <laughs> so, little plug here. But yeah, usually when I'm trading item there, I say, oh, make me an offer. And the player is making me an offer. I have no idea if uh, it's a good offer or a bad offer. I just hope it's a good mm -hmm. one. <laughs> so I, I do it like that. I'm not really after money, obviously. Um, but yeah, my character, when I play my character, they're really played. They are not GM uh, boosted. That's, that's important. Which is why I have another yes. GM boosted character, which is called Eloa Cheat. Don't trade with that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad that you actually like play the game and stuff like that. That's interesting because I know like in a lot of like games, just in, you know, you're a lot of bigger games and stuff like that. You're not really going to have a lot of, you know, developers or people in front of the community actually play the game. They're just like, you know, they're, you know, they have their characters, their GM characters. But for you to actually like, because I see how your streams are, it's like you would go in and play with the players, you know, kind of get, and so you get like a personal feedback on how, and I know all the other GMs do that too. They'll play the game naturally and just, you know, have fun playing it. Um, but I think that's, that's good that you have that. That's good that you, um, that you kind of just kind of hop in there. You kind of just really delve into the community. So you're not just sitting down and just like, oh, hearing from the background, you're like actually like getting in there and you actually like seeing things and see like things that you personally think they should be part of the, uh, personally changes at the game. I, I yeah. think it's awesome. And that also means that I have opinion and sometimes those opinions mm -hmm. are not good. For example, I for one think that the experience gain is already too fast. I'm pretty sure that everyone will be disagreeing <laughs> with me, but seriously, opinions. <laughs> guys, it's already too fast. Thankfully, the rest of the team is not listening to me. So the new level experience has been speed up. I was not for free to that one. That's just me. <laughs> and honestly, I, I think that's 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 uh, that's understandable. You know, so it's okay to have unpopular opinions. Like I have my own too. But at the same time, like uh, I think it's I think it's good that you know, like I said, like you're you're part of the community as much as anybody else. Like literally, you're part of the team. But um, but like you know, it goes for everybody. Seriously, if you guys are part of the community, you guys have something to say. Like if it's constructive criticism or anything like that, like please, like, like I, I, if you whether even if you're not someone who goes into forums, like do it like me, where I personally, I just like talking about it on stream, whether you stream or make content creation, or you're a content creator, sorry, on YouTube or something like that. Please make a video. Like I want to see more videos of people like just like, uh, which I'm planning on doing that myself personally. Is like just like um big like uh, what's that word i'm looking for like you create ideas and stuff like that putting things on the table and just like uh, um theory crafting there you go uh theory crafting of what you think should be in the game or how certain classes should work um i think i want to i i think that's a really important thing that we should be doing you're just kind of just sharing our ideas and stuff like that and even like like what ella said like she has a very unpopular opinion but you know sharing that i think is, is a big thing because then you can see if it's like keywords and unpo unpopular opinion or not so that's just like i said that's just me but uh but yeah i want to hear everyone else's thoughts on the game and stuff like that too yeah and i hope that by now we have proven with our deeds that we are actually listening to the player and when i say we're mm -hmm. listening to the player that doesn't mean we are obeying to the player it means that we are <laughs> listening and then we're discussing about it internally and sometimes they say yeah that's not an idea that work or that doesn't really fit the game or this is interesting that's really good but we cannot do that because we don't have the you know the condition to do it but what could we do instead and sometimes a player will drop an idea and it can even be a few months later 
we suddenly have an inspiration to get something done. And so you are never wrong to share your opinion as long as it's say and it's sharing. I think so mm -hmm. and not say I demand that change are made to the game right now because that's everybody not, get level 50 boost I'm kidding. that's not going to work obviously <laughs> no, no that's I, that's agreeable and I, that, that that's where it comes to just a sharing like you said like just sharing not like demanding and stuff like that like much everyone was just demanding like you need to get this done and stuff like that now it's 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 always again sharing because things do take time and stuff like that and as, as a player you know I, I i would say like you know it's it is it is important that you know you just want to share your ideas slowly but surely show you know everyone that like hey you know these are these are ideas and stuff like that and, and don't be too demanding with them guys <laughs> yeah it's it's also and i think that our regular community is very understanding with this we are mm -hmm. pretty limited in terms of resource of manpower and of time therefore sometimes there's ideas that are excellent and that we would love to implement them but they are just too ambitious and we know that we cannot re realistically put them into the game and therefore we need to find may maybe a more humble way of doing things like mm -hmm. it, you know if if we had a team of 100 developer we would develop the game differently for sure but yeah. we are just a teeny team, so we do with what we have. And we try to do as best as possible with what we have and to offer a quality game with a good experience. Um, and so hopefully you don't really feel it too much that we are a teeny team. But yeah, there's just stuff that cannot be done because time, because manpower, because resource and mm -hmm. whatnot, and tech and, and things. Yeah, I like that. That's smart. And I'm excited to see what you guys really do for because though you guys are our tiny team, even I can admit, like compared to most of the games that we already played, you guys have definitely followed through with a lot of things that you that people have either talked about or something you guys just want to do. So yeah, I would admit that out of all the teams I've actually seen for Embers of Drift, like I mean, you guys have what just released like last year or two. Um, so like just me coming into the game since October, like you guys have added so much to the game that's that's just made it even better so I, though you guys are a small team even i can say like you guys are probably better than most of the games that I've, that I've played when it comes to actually listening and actually making sure that your community is good but also still implementing your ideas and still seeing you know where that kind of fits in the in the grand scheme of things so seriously thank you guys to the team of stormhaven so, so you guys are awesome well thank you so much and thank you to each and every player that are playing the game for you know mm -hmm. joining us in this weird adventure that is to create an mmrpg <laughs> and it's a, a you're doing a great job so seriously keep up the damn good work so yeah, Mazov is saying, from the time I started in January to now, huge difference, so the smooth tail definitely is working. That's so cool that even Mazov, like, because January, that's not long time ago. So even mm -hmm. if you feel that, that's great. And so we are really trying to, you know, um, to work honestly, right? So we, we know that there's things to improve. We're not always making the right decision. We are human, and so maybe we do mistakes, mm -hmm. but we 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 try to offer an honest product that hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. And now with the free trial, bring your friends. So, Anno Inglama, <laughs> what about the free trial? What do you think about it? Well, funny enough, I'm, I'm actually making a video for a guide for the free trial player. So I was like, it's my first ever guide being made. So I'm, I'm hopefully get it done by like soon before the free trial starts, but what was really important, I think I'm really excited with the free trial is that there are so many people I've already talked to, like out, like real life, like people just like, I just talked to either through my job or actual friends. Like I had a friend over who actually watches my streams uh, for Embers and he, he was like, uh, he was like, hey, you know, actually, could you pull up Embers and Drifts? Like he's like, he, so I'm just playing the game while he's just watching me play and like I was telling him about the free trial thing and, and like, you know, you know, it's coming out soon. Don't know when, but he was interested in the game. And, you know, he was like, well, I don't have any much money now, but I told him about the free trial and he's excited for it now. He's, he wants to like, try it out. He wants to play the game because now there's an option for him to actually like try it out and not have to, you know, make that commitment of, mm -hmm. you know, paying 30 bucks and stuff like that. And you know, people are like, oh, it's just 30 bucks. No, no, no. 30 bucks is a lot in this current economy, especially here in America. It's tough, but, <laughs> but, uh, um, but you know, it's 
I, I think it's a great way for people just like they, they hear free trial and it's not like a basic like oh you do this for 10 days it's a permanent free trial so you could take your time you can breathe you can see what the game has to offer and you can see where you can go oh, okay oh i want to try this out and i want to try this out and stuff like that and to really just kind of st just kind of really put your foot into the game and see like just like the free weekend like the free weeks and stuff like that you guys used to always do uh, i don't know if you guys probably might do the more in the future but still the free weeks that you guys always did those were huge because it allowed people just to try out the game and really just yeah, like i said put their foot into the game see what they can do with it within the with the, with the time that they have and now now the free trial is limited put uh, the time that they have into the game and see if they want to get it or not and it's having that choice without just having to see it from like the background is really important i think and i i i think also another thing i almost want to mention too sorry if i'm taking too long with this um but one of the biggest things that i would say is like you know uh when it comes to watching embers of drift content or watching it on youtube and stuff like that it's it's good to instead of just like you know sitting there watching it because sometimes if you watch it from the background some people might not like the gameplay just by looking at it but just hopping into it trying it out yourself you get to play engage with the combat system engage with the community engage with the crafting system engage with the the, 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 new, the new bulletin board i think that is really what's it what sold me even before the bulletin board was here but sold me into the game and i think was sold sell so many other people um in a sense of like it this is the mmo one of the mmos for them um so that's that's my current thoughts i don't know what everybody else thinks about that but yeah that's my current thoughts on that on that why i'm so excited for the free trial just that access is there and it's ready and so yeah and uh, yeah <laughs> one of the things that i personally am happy about was the 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 way we did and like i say we we have been careful with it was this um is the fact that there's no limitation in level so if you want to hang out in new heaven valley you can get as many level as you want as long as the creature you kill it's kill there can give you level or you can level your craft or you can you know forget you roll and take another one and start again and you know there's plenty of things if you really want to grind so to speak the content until it's over uh, of course you can go very fast through it or you can really decide i'm going to stay there for a long time i'm going to farm two teeth blades i'm going to there's plenty of things to really discover uh, to get all of the equipment for misha i don't know there there is stuff to do if you really want to finish and complete everything in new heaven valley and in central vein one because central vein one is accessible too you can stay yeah. a long time and i think i i don't know what how far you can go in level but probably 12 15 something like that yeah the, from what i from what i've experienced it's usually around like the i always be safe with it like on the guy like i'm doing a, I, I say one to ten just to be safe because it's just kind of like a it, it is kind of like a one to ten kind of thing but yeah if some mobs in there do kind of go up kind of stretch up to that uh, especially, like I said, in the central veins, they do kind of stretch up to like the 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15 kind of range. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I agree with that. I agree with that. So, hopefully, a lot of people will be convinced and find the game fun. And mm -hmm. um, speaking of which, I have uh, some message to the community. So, let's go in community news. So I wanted to take the time to have a little word with the community. So now that we have a free trial open, your role, guys, is going to be super important. If you want to take part of it, of course, you can absolutely ignore that. But if you want to see the community growing, if you want to see more players engage into Ember Drift, you can absolutely participate to that because the word of mouth is so far what has served the best. The content creator that are loyal to Ember Drift are the person that have uh, cemented the community and promoted the game the best so you guys can participate to that by simply talking to your friends speaking about the trial and being kind with the new players and i know most of you are doing that already so this is one tool that we give you so to speak so you can do that job of uh, 
evangelizing, that's how we call it, for the game even better. So thank you very much to everyone who has contributed to the betterment of the community, promoted the game, talked to their friend, bringing new player on, helping new player, or providing content, working on the wiki, and all the other things you can do, like being a nice guild member, it's already something huge, you know? So. Thank you for your work. Let's do this more so we can have a beautiful community. And if you have some mm -hmm. ideas that are related to the community itself, like events, uh, whatever, you can always contact me and I will see what I can do. If we can organize something, organize an event, organize a campaign of some sort. So do not hesitate to do that. If suddenly you're struck by an inspiration, feel free to contact me directly to share that ID. You don't even have to write a post on the forum, you can just PM me directly, or you can write a post on the forum if you want to open a discussion about that. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I am vigorous. The server are down because it's the maintenance, the weekly maintenance, which is why we have the weekly community show during that time, so you're not bored without Ember Drift. <laughs> Yeah, you get it fresh from here, boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so what we can do is um, to do the weekly game we are doing every week. Here it is. So the weekly game, in case you do not know, it's a little game on Discord. It's just fun. Participate to it, post a screenshot, follow the instruction, and maybe you will win one gold. So if you're a high level player, you probably don't care about that gold, but you can always do like Elder did, put it back uh, in the community game, and then I pick up two winners the next time. So that's a possibility. Or you can keep it for yourself, or give it to your alt, or increase your inventory size, who knows, or offer it to a friend or whatnot. In any case, it's a free goal for you if you win this weekly game. So let's see. What was the weekly game this week? Take a screenshot including you and your friends fighting together. One screenshot per player. So we have a few entries. The first one is Katira Stalia, who won last week. And she's hey. fighting with Zavinera. And then that's Zavinema, which is fighting with Katira. <laughs> and here we have Aluna, which is fighting with Harzi. And I saw them fighting because I, I was in a group a little bit further away. Nice. And that's Marcus, who is dead. So the instruction were fighting, I think that falling into combat can be considered as fighting. Ash and Mandrake, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here it is this Flub. I suppose Flub is fighting. It's, um, well, we imagine. At least there's another person for sure. And it seems the shadow of a bear. So I think we can consider mm -hmm. they were fighting. In any case, yeah, no. we have five <laughs> entries. So we're going to pick up a number between one and five. No snap. All right, ready? Let's go. Yep. All right, see who wins. All right, it's number hey. three. Congratulations. I think it's Aluna. <laughs> hey, congratulations, my G. It's Aluna! Congratulations, Aluna! You won one gold! You put me in game and I will give it to you. Alright? So that was for... Aluna. Yeah. So what, what are we doing this week? That's the new game that I will be posting on Discord after this. Alright. You and a new player. That's the screenshot. Welcome a newbie player in New Heaven Valley. Use hail or slash wave. One screenshot per player. So let's be nice and kind with the new player. This is the weekly game and you can win one goal just for doing this. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm, a little sensitive for being extra nice, guys. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you needed any. 
Crazy. I know, right? I mean, yeah, you should not have an incentive, but, but, but it's always good to just kind of play a game with it. Yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> harass the newbies? I mean, help them. <laughs> oh, Marwa. <laughs> so funny, bro. And voila, that was a very, very nice community show. I know England, I'm very happy to have a discussion with you. It's always super pleasant to talk with you because you're so... All right, I didn't click. I was making a lot of compliments to Annoying Lama. I need, he didn't hear anything. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> so, oh my God. Annoying Lama, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. You're really a ray of sunshine. I'm very honest when I'm saying that. So it's really nice to have you in the community and to have uh, those streams and to talk with you in the show. So what do you have to say to, to finish and to conclude the show? Um, I would just, I, the best way to finish it up, I would try to make it quick, but I would say this, guys, if you guys are playing Embers of Drift currently, I hope you guys definitely enjoy the game. Seriously, just keep, keep at it. Keep leveling up. Keep having fun. Keep talking with people, crafting your items, do what you do best. You know, being, for me, what I always say is be the best llama you can be. But, uh, for the new players who are going to be coming in Embers of Drift, or for people who have been just watching the community streams and wanted to kind of get into the fun, Enjoy the game. Take your time. Go at your own pace. If you want to rush the game, rush the game. If you don't want to rush it, don't rush it. You know, it's up to you. But I always say this. I hope you definitely enjoy Embers and Drip. Welcome to the welcome to the community. Welcome to the uh, welcome to just Embers. So be the best llama you can be. Have some fun, guys. Seriously. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful word of conclusion. And on those beautiful words, we're going to conclude this community show. Thank you so very much for watching it. If you are on YouTube, do not hesitate to subscribe, like, and share it with your community. And you can always see us live every Tuesday during the maintenance at 6 p.m. Central Europe time, which is 11 a.m. Central American time, just almost during the lunchtime. So join us live and see it for yourself and participate into the conversation with the rest of the chat. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Eloa.